In summation, we were presented with this mystery gas, electrified. And then we put on the glasses. And when the glasses were put on, a new world was revealed. Boom! Stripes of lights, diffraction and interference in black and white. So we don't know their colors, but we do know where they are on that scale. So we can check their separation. Well, we also knew how far the camera was from this setup. Got a couple of givens, but it wasn't enough for the double slit equation. What do we do? We introduced the laser. In fact, we introduced a green laser of roughly known wavelength. We measured its distance. We measured its diffraction with the same glasses, its separation. And then using the double slit equation with another set of givens, we found the slit width of the glasses. You should have gotten a slit width around 4.71 micrometers. Okay, now what? Compare time. Go to the reference table. Figure out the hydrogen atom. Calculate some energies. Take those energies and put them into the E photon equation to get yourself some wavelengths. You've got three of them now. What do we do with these wavelengths? Oh, where do they fit? Do they have colors? Look at the scale. Yes, they do. They fit into three bands in particular. You should have gotten something like 438 nanometers, 489 nanometers, 659 nanometers. Time to bring our black and white to life. Do the colors line up with what we predicted? Violet, bluish cyan, red, fantastic. That tube is filled with hydrogen gas. And we just verified it with some measurements and a double application of the double slit formula. Well done.